This morning, growing fallout from the new Justice Department report that outlines, quote, cascading failures by police who responded to the Uvalde school massacre in 2022. 19 children and two teachers were killed. Had law enforcement agencies followed generally accepted practices in an active shooter situation, lives would have been saved and people would have survived. The 600-page report shedding new light on why it took police 77 minutes to confront the shooter. Officers first on the scene headed toward the classrooms, but were fired upon and retreated. Am I bleeding? The report says after three attempts to reach the classrooms, no further attempts were made by the nearly 400 law enforcement officers, despite desperate calls from students inside, including this 911 call made by 10-year-old Chloe Torres. I'm in classroom 112. Please help me. There's a lot of dead bodies. Please. The report faults school district police chief Pete Arredondo for deciding to treat the shooter as a barricaded subject instead of an active shooter who must be confronted immediately. That decision led to delays. Arredondo directed officers to search for keys to unlock the classroom doors, which the report says were likely already unlocked. Arredondo was fired three months after the shooting. While some officials involved in the response have resigned or been fired, some are still on staff, including Sheriff Ruben Nolasco, whose leadership and organization failures are detailed in the report, saying he had no active shooter training and minimal leadership and supervision training. Still, Nolasco is seeking re-election this spring. These officers who sit there and just not do anything, you know, and uh, still be out here, you know, on the streets, like nothing happened, and my daughter's gone. Some victims' family members say the report released yesterday just confirms what they already knew, that law enforcement failed to do their jobs. This is a job you signed up for. You took an oath to run to the sound of gunfire, and you didn't do that. Many renewing their calls for justice. I also hope that this lights a fire up under the, D the, the district attorney's because we know that she has not done a damn thing, and we refuse to accept that. Do your job. At least three separate investigations are still pending. It's up to the local district attorney whether to pursue charges. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.